What's up guys? Larry. This video right here is going to be a tutorial for cliffhanger. Let's see? So in my opinion, the key to the cliffhanger is going fast. Uh, I see a lot of people who try to do it like this. That's pretty hard. But the way I do it, it's like this. So you gotta go fast. So that you're hanging for as little time as possible. It's kinda like the last tutorial I did. In the nunchucks. You don't wanna be hanging for long. So you wanna be in position so that when you catch yourself, you can take as few swings as possible before you make that dismount. The cliffhanger doesn't have a dismount at the end, but it does have a few like sort of tricky mounts onto other blocks. Like this one. This mount onto the second block is really hard. Ah, see? Can't even do it sometimes. Because you're going down, it makes it tougher to control your momentum once you get that second hand down there. So that's why. I see a lot of people that when they, they think too much of themselves, when they do this, they try to do the cliffhanger like this. That is hard. Now, if you you probably don't remember this. Matter of fact, I don't think anybody's ever seen this video. But in season one of NWB, I failed in the cliffhanger both times, in city finals and on stage three. So that's why in season one, I didn't do it. Season two, I turned on to stage four, and season three, I actually did it. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> but we took out the cliffhanger in city finals for season five, and I think we're going to do it again for season six, which is Saturday, so like two days. But I'm scared of this cliffhanger still. <laughs> still scared of it. So that's it for this video. Just remember, if your arms are 90 degrees, go fast. And don't try to do what I just did by skipping two hands on that board. These two hands on every board. Okay? Subscribe. Hit that like button. And comment um, how you think I'll do in NWB6.